Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Shantae Marie and today we are going to be talking about my walk with the Lord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you guys can see more videos like this one. On Sundays, we do tend to talk about the Lord, so if that's not something that you're into, then it's totally okay for you to exit out of this video. There are plenty of other videos here on my channel that might be of interest to you, and if not, I thank you so much for stopping by. So let's jump right in to my testimony. So at first I didn't really know where to start with this just because this is a topic that I haven't shared on my channel, I guess, very much. So I do do Bible journals here on my channel and I have kind of a playlist for that, but I wanted to stem out past that and just kind of share my story. When I was very young, I was adopted with my younger brother. We are biological siblings and I was adopted by my mom and dad and they are they have been such a great influence on me and my brother for our lives there's so many things that i know that i would not have been able to accomplish without them and i thank the lord so much that he blessed them not only with two children of their own but he blessed us in being able to be with them and be placed with them and gave us a better life Probably a life that I could have never imagined had I have stayed in the the life that I was living previously. So I was adopted. I, I hadn't even started kindergarten, so I was very young. It's kind of sad that I don't remember exactly what age, but that is kind of something that I've dealt with my whole life. I tend to have things happen in life that for me, I just put them to the side or push them to the back of my mind so that I don't have to think about them at all. Like if it's something bad that's happened to me, I just push it to the back of my mind and eventually I'll push it so far back that I don't really remember. So, so this caused a lot of issues for me on my deployment. It brought back a lot of things from my past that I didn't necessarily remember and it kind of it really showed me how real PTSD is and how so many different things in your life can trigger that for you. So my whole story about being adopted is like its own story in itself. I am very thankful for having been adopted. So when people say the jokes are like, oh, you must have been adopted or you had to have been adopted, blah, 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 blah. I don't see adoption as a bad thing because for me it was the best thing that could have happened for me and my sibling. After I did get adopted, we moved not very far from where I was actually born at, which I didn't find that out until a later time in my life. And I grew up in a community where me and my sibling were actually two of maybe five students that were not white and growing up in a community and being the minority has its own trials and tribulations in itself it definitely taught me a lot and it's helped me to become the person that i am today because people in a small town tend to do the things that people in a small town do and if you aren't from a small town you may not understand what I'm meaning when I say that. Smaller thought process, I guess, on how the world works. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the way that they've been raised in their culture and the mindsets and all of that is very different from people who live in a bigger community. So I grew up in that situation thinking that this is the way that the world is. This is just the way that it works. and. I dealt with my fair share of being treated unfairly or being treated poorly and the people around me may not have necessarily known that I was being treated differently because I was different or just because I wasn't the same as everybody else and by no means am I saying, oh, these people are racist, whatever. I am not a fan of that word and I try not to place that stigmatism on anyone but for me when I look back at it things that occurred to me when I was growing up are very very wrong and things that 
people nowadays would get honestly fired from their jobs or shunned for doing the things that were done to not only me and my brother but my family at, as a whole. So I dealt with that growing up my whole life and I knew that when I went to college things just had to be better, they had to be better and I grew up in a family that I literally went to church basically every Sunday and then after church we would actually go eat as a family and that was just what Sundays were for. Now the older that we got because we let things like sports in school influence us into not going and doing those things but my parents went to church with or without me and my sibling and for me I guess I never thought about I never had the mindset of like, oh, let me go to church even though I'm tired and even though I've played sports and had practice and have homework and this stuff, I just wasn't there yet mentally and I didn't understand God's love and the power that you can have if you just have faith in Him. And for me, it really all hit kind of in the middle of college. I just realized how different the world is and how there's so many different people in this world and how if you're walking around having not one ounce of anything to believe in, it is very hard. I think I went through my first couple years of college just thinking, oh yay, I'm an adult, but not turning to anything to guide me. And I can remember having conversations with my best friend at the time and being like, Am I a bad person for not going to church? Like, should I be going to church? My parents raised me as someone who should be going to church as a child of God. So I remember dipping into reading the Bible a little bit at a time, but it just seemed like going out to parties and like hanging out with my friends or going to work or going to school just always took priority over that. Well. The older that I got, the more stuff started to weigh down on me and the more I realized that my faith is such a big important part of me and my life and how much I needed to put my faith in God and trust that He would guide me on the right path and just basically give it all to Him so that I could be able to spread joy and love and his light and spread the word of him to my peers. I don't know how many times I've had friends go through things that thankfully my faith has been able to help not just me but them and helped me to be a better friend to them and I have been able to speak on things that things that have spoke to me through my study of the Bible I have been able to speak to my friends about that and really helped them through their trials and tribulations as well. And I've, I've had so many of my friends reach out to me and say, how do you study the Bible? Like, what do you do? And I've been able to talk about that with them and to know that I can sit down with people that are my age and talk to them about the Lord and talk to them about the different Bible verses and what it means to them. and. Just being able to have conversations like that with people who are in their 20s is something that I never once imagined myself doing, but for me, it just, it means so much. And I think that God has really instilled it in me to, to preach his word to people my age or younger, or even people older than me to have, be able to have that conversation with them and still know that faith in the Lord is alive. Because a lot of times I think that that's forgotten in the world today and a lot of people just don't really talk about it. So moving on from my high school days and moving forward from college, when I, in 2013, when I found out that I was deploying, I knew I was scared. I knew I was going to be in a totally different world than what I was used to. And my parents and everyone in my family supported me along with my friends and I knew that my faith in the Lord was going to need to be very, very strong for me to make it through this. I had to sit down as a soldier and make goals that I wanted to try to accomplish while I was gone. 
My number one goal was that I wanted to read the Bible cover to cover, but I also wanted my faith in the Lord to grow stronger. I wanted to attend church. I wanted to join a Bible study group, and I actually ended up being able to accomplish all of those goals during my deployment. And honestly, if anyone that I talked to who asked me what it was like to be in Afghanistan, I always tell them that that was the best experience of my life. And I truly feel like my faith in God during that time is what helped me to push through. Because prior to my deployment, I had basically ended a relationship with the person that I thought that I was going to marry. I thought that I was going to graduate from college, get married, have kids, get a full-time job, do all of these things. And when the deployment came up, I, I honestly wanted to throw in the towel. I remember I left work early when I found out. I cried. I ended up quitting my job. I just panicked, basically. And I feel like during that time, I gave it all to God. I feel like I found myself, I found my faith, I found so much about everything that I just never imagined. And I can literally sit here and thank God so much for showing me so much about myself. I had the strength to move on from things that weren't good for me. I had the strength to focus on things that were going to help me in my future. And it's all thanks to God. I feel like there are so many things that I go through in life that if it weren't for my faith, I don't know how I would be here at all. I have a story on, I have my story on my channel of my depression and anxiety and having an eating disorder when I was very, very young. I also ran into a time frame in my life that I just didn't want to be here anymore. I came home from deployment and it was like my thought process from when I was on deployment and my faith in God just vanished like I came back stateside and the devil creeped his way back into my life I started drinking and going out to parties hanging out with people and dating people that I never should have even been involved with and all of that was the devil creeping in on me and the things that I had accomplished just vanished because instead of turning to God for answers and turning to God for strength and giving him my problems, I came back and thought that I could handle all of that on my own. And I know now that that is not the way that it necessarily works. I know now that I am supposed to pray to him and give it to him and he will guide me in the right direction. And I just wasn't doing that when I came home. Um, I don't wanna cry. Um, anyways, Don't cry, girl. Mm -hmm. I got tears in my eyes, and I'm not trying to do that. Hello, boobs. Mommy's telling a sad story. Mommy's telling a story. It's happy, but it's sad at the same time. So, yeah, I did get to a low, low point in my life. I mean, I will never forget having to go to therapy, um, having to basically go to like a rehabilitation center, um, all of that stuff. And when I got out of doing all of that, I honestly jumped straight back in to reading my Bible and turning to God and praying every day. And I just realized that this is my path. Like this is my journey. This is what I, hi. This is what I should be doing. This is what the Lord wants me to see is that he is the greatest thing that I could ever imagine. And it wasn't my time to go. And the fact that I was so willing to throw away something so great that he had created makes me sad. Like, I can't believe that I allowed 
myself to get to that point. I can't believe that I turned away from him and turned my back on him um, just to be able to do my own thing. And I, I don't dwell on it, but I obviously that happened and it's something that I think helped me realize my walk with God and helped me realize that I am so much better with him. My life is so much better with him and every single negative aspect of my life, everything that happens that makes me sad or depressed or any time that I have anxiety, I leave it to him and I turn to him and it makes me feel so much better. I honestly can tell you that I have had a rough few months and I have left it all to him and I feel like I am still happy I'm still kicking I'm so thankful for each and every single day and I have been able to make it through all of this because of my faith and that is something that when I see people who don't get to have that or choose not to have that in their life it makes me sad for them and then I remember that the Lord wants me to speak on it the Lord wants me to share my journey and my path and hopefully it can help somebody else and help them and guide them in some way shape or form and there's just such a bigger picture here and I feel like I could rant on and on and on about it, but I'm not going to do that for you guys. But I think right now, for me, I try to really focus on my goals. <laughs> I try to focus on my Christian goals and one of those goals for me right now is that I do want to find a church where I live because my church is like a ways away from here and that's my biggest goal right now but I also have the goal of just really diving in deep to my studies I did start Bible journaling here on my channel and that's something that I try to do frequently and I just really I enjoy it and I enjoy the time that I get to just be with the Lord and, and talk to him and seek answers and just really he helps guide me in my journey through life and it feels so much better. So right now I'm focusing on those Christian goals and I hope that this video may have helped some of you guys who may be feeling down or some of you guys who just I guess wanted to hear my story. Um, I appreciate you so much for watching. I do have a playlist that is Christian based here on my channel so make sure that you guys check that out. I'll have everything linked, duh. But um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I do like to do these type of videos on Sunday and other than that I do tons of videos that may help you out in any way, shape, or form. So subscribe, like, comment, share. I would love to hear your story in the comments below and I appreciate each and every one of you. I pray that you have a great week and I will see you guys in my next video. Did you say bye? Say bye guys. Bye.